More than two years have passed and the man accused of stabbing his neighbor to death over a barking dog is still on the loose. But the victim's family is not giving up hope. News 13's Emily Younger reports. It's heart wrenching. It's horrible. There's no peace. There's no closure. The family of Michael Sanchez still struggles with his death. Each and every one of us, if we didn't have each other to hold each other up, I don't know where we would be. Sanchez was 27 years old when police say his neighbor, Ricardo Villanueva Cordova, stabbed him 28 times at a West Central gas station in June 2013. Authorities say the stabbing was sparked by a long running dog dispute. Villanueva Cordova, seen here in an old mugshot, took off after the murder. He hasn't been seen since. It's devastating. It really is to know that this man is having another birthday is having another Christmas, is having another meal, is sleeping in a warm bed. Well, my son is very cold in the grave. Now, more than two years after her nephew's murder, Elizabeth Sanchez Lucero is pushing harder than ever to catch the man responsible. Lucero posts wanted flyers to Facebook and Twitter every day. She's hired a sketch artist to create dozens of photos of what Villanueva Cordova may look like now. She's also working to increase the reward for his capture. Obviously, the $1,000 anonymous reward from Crime Stoppers and the $2,000 that we have in the Michael S. Sanchez Reward Fund is not enough money to purchase the tip that we need. And so desperately want. It's for Michael. We need justice for Michael. Emily Younger, KRQE News 13. Villanueva Cordova was charged with first-degree murder and kidnapping last summer. After the killing, police say he fled to Mexico. Federal authorities are now working that case.